oh son of god and my brother this is your awakening and today's teaching is it can be but my gratitude i hear it can be but my gratitude i uh, share my mind and you don't die here is the second step we take to free your mind from the belief in outside force pitted against your own. You make attempts at kindness and forgiveness, yet you turn them to attack again unless you find external gratitude and love is thanks. Your gifts must be received with honor, lest they be withdrawn, and so you think God's gifts are loans at best, at worst deceptions, which would cheat you off the fences to ensure that when he strikes, he will not fail to kill. How easily are God and killed confused by those who know not what their thoughts can do. Deny your strength and weakness must become salvation to you. See yourself as bound and bars become your home. Nor will you leave the prison house or claim your strength until guilt and salvation are not seen as one and freedom and salvation as are perceived as joined with strength beside them to be sought and claimed and found and fully recognized. The world must thank you when you offer it release from your illusions. Yet your thanks belong to you as well for its release can only mirror yours. Your gratitude is all your gifts require that they be la a lasting offering of a thankful heart forever released from hell. In it is this, is it this you would undo by taking back your gifts because they were not honored? It is you who honor them and give them fitting thanks. For it is you who have received the gifts. It does not matter if another thinks your gifts are unworthy. In his mind, there is a part that joins with yours in thanking you. It does not matter if your gifts seem lost and ineffectual. They are received where they are given. In your gratitude are they accepted universally and thankfully acknowledged by the heart of God himself. And would you take them back when he has gratefully accepted them? God blesses every gift you give to him and every gift is given him because it can be given only to yourself. And what belongs to God must be his own. Yet you will never realize his gifts are sure, eternal, changeless, limitless, forever giving out, extending love, and adding to your never-ending joy, while you forgive, but to attack again. Withdraw the gift you give, and you will think that what is given you has been withdrawn. But learn to let forgiveness take away the sins you see outside yourself, and you can never think the gifts of God are lent, but for a little while, before he snatches them away again in death. For death will have no meaning for you then. And with the end of this belief is fear forever over. Thank yourself for this. For he is grateful only unto God and he gives thanks for you unto himself. To everyone who lives will Christ yet come for everyone must live and move in him. His being in his father is secure because they will is one. The gratitude to all they have created has no end, for gratitude remains a part of love. Thanks be to you, the Holy Son of God, for as you were created, you contain all things within your self, and you are still as God created you. Nor can you dim the light of your perfection. In your heart, the heart of God is led. He holds you dear because you are himself. All gratitude belongs to you because of what you are. Give thanks as you receive it. 
be you free of all gratitude to anyone who makes yourself complete. Thank and from this self is no one left outside. Give thanks for all the countless channels which extend this self. All that you do is given unto him. All that you think can only be his thoughts, saying with him the holy thoughts of God. And now the gratitude, eh, now the gratitude you have denied yourself when you forgot the function God had given you, has given you. But never think he has ever ceased to offer thanks to you. Peace.